end of the first day. Seven hours remaining. Yeah, you know the shtick by now. Anyway, so what's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we, uh... We did all we could, and we basically did some side quests that we couldn't do We on the final day after being the Stone Tower Temple. And uh, we basically, not only that, we... What am I trying to say? We pretty much, I'm trying to say, is that uh, we pretty much did whatever we could, and then we reset time because we were running out of time. In this part, this is going to be kind of a mini three-day cycle. I'm, an, I'm just going to take out some rupees, and then, like, uh... I'm just gonna take out some rupees, and not only that, um, we're going to try to see what we can do um, within one set of three days. We're not gonna do the main side quest that gets the remaining mass just yet, because there are some heart pieces that I forgot to get over the course of this game, and we're gonna get one of them. One thing though, I want to show off another way you can learn the song, the Scarecrow song. It, so yeah, you don't actually have to, you know. Uh, yeah. No, we don't need to learn that for the billionth time. Anyway, so, uh, that's kind of the other way you can learn the Scarecrow song. And now we're going to soar back to, uh, Mountain Village. This is basically, we're gonna get two heart pieces that I missed, uh, throughout the course of this game. And then we're gonna go for the, and then we're gonna reset time. Or actually, we're not gonna reset time. Then we're gonna go for a mass that I missed. And then we're going to do the Couples Mass side quest. We will do the Couples Mass side quest in the next set of three days. And we're going to go to Mountain Village. And, uh... We all think the other hooks are... I never got this heart piece over the course of this game. after Because I just looked at a guide to see where the remaining heart pieces were. There's only really one that we missed. Which is pretty damn good for, like, someone who hasn't played Majora's Mask in a while. And as you know, right now, we have all the items. Like, uh, when it comes to our progress, we only need the All Knights map. We're going to get on the Night of the Final Day. And the remaining maps are from the uh, the, the big side quest that everyone remembers with this game. And my dog barks when I'm in the middle of a recording. Because I just put her in the crate. When uh, I, actually have, I actually got a puppy earlier this year. So if you hear barking, I apologize. So, uh... I try, I try making my microphone not pick up background noise, but, uh, I think, uh, it's around here. I think we also need the Lens of Truth. So let's, uh, get that out. No. I think we need to go a little farther. Am I doing this right? Again, I might be, just be simply overthinking this. Okay, wait, we're doing this right. We need to get our Ocarina of Two, not fall down. But yeah, we do need the Lens of Truth, and we do need the Ocarina. Because, yeah, we missed, we did miss that heart piece, and this is the very last thing we need to do in Mountain Village. We never need to go back here again. Not even a fight goat. See if I can target, yeah. I'm so used to Ocarina being C down. We're gonna play the Scarecrow song. And that's gonna get the Scarecrow up. I never, I, for some reason, I forgot to get this heart piece in particular, so we're just gonna go grab that. And we collected two pieces so far, we're, and now we're gonna soar back to Clock Town. And just do one more thing there. And after, uh, after we do this particular part, I'm going to sort of the night of the first day and then save the old woman because we do need that to get the old night mask. Anyway, so I just got to check to see if my microphone's picking up, uh, my, uh, puppy whining. It's probably not a good idea to, uh, record right now, but, uh, I really want to get these side quests out of the way, but, uh, we go to East Clock Town. We have to, this is much like the thing we did at the very beginning of the game with the, uh, with the, uh, side quest. We are going to go to the Honey and Darling shop. You cannot go here unless you have both the bomb bag and the quiver. You can do this earlier, but I, I wanted to wait. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Why would you like to play? Today is bomb two gallery day, isn't it, darling? 
One game is 10 rupees. Hit each target with the bottom two in the time it takes us to dance through one song. But if you fall off this platform, you're out, right, darling? Are you ready to start the music? Anyway, so, uh, you want to shoot, you don't want to fall off the platform, and you, uh, you kind of want to, uh, hit these with bomb shoes. The platform will go progressively faster. This isn't, like, too hard of a mini game. You just got to time it right. Except we timed it wrong. I think we only have one more left, so we're doing great. I say we're doing the right, and then we keep messing. We got it right on the first day, so, uh... Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. And we get our purple rupee, which is 50 rupees. So, uh, now I'm going to, uh, sort of the night of the first day and, uh, see you guys with the old lady. So, we'll be right back. Anyway, so now that it's uh, 12, 12 a.m. on the uh, night of the first day, we're going to uh, save the old woman again. An interesting fact about this part of the game, if you do this side quest, is uh, I'm, even though I'm not going to show it because I don't want to, ch I've never chanced it before. It's with, with Saken over there. If you use the light arrows on him, you'll actually kill him. I'm not kidding. You actually kill Saken if you use the light arrows on him. You can go try it for yourself. I do not want to chance it because I've never chanced it before. Even though you don't really have to slow time, I always just do it as a good luck charm, just so I, it guarantees I uh, take Saken out. Because then we're going to see the old woman. You cannot get the all night mask if you did not save the old woman on the uh, night of the first day. So uh, that's what I got wrong in the last set of three days. I just love this running animation, especially since it's slower since time slowed down. You're just like creeping up and you're like, hey, hey, Mr. Mrs. Bomb Lady, and that's mine. And so we're gonna let's see how quick this takes. Yeah, he's never he's never gonna grab it. Should I chance it? I said I was not going to chance the light arrow thing. Maybe I'll show it on the next. Maybe I'll show it as a bonus. I don't know. Anyway, so now we're going to uh, go to the uh, dawn of the second day. And we're going to go back to that uh, bomb. We're going to go back to the lover's, the lover's bomb area, whatever the hell it's called. So uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Actually, I won't see you guys in a second, because I can just go right towards Clock Town. Anyway, so down to the second day, 48 hours made. This is going to be a quickie set of three days. It's mainly just the side quest I forgot about the source of this game. Of course, maybe the bunny hood helps. I don't know. I just prefer the go on mask over the bunny hood, especially when you have Chateau Ramon, even though we don't right now. Yeah, so now we're going to go here. The Honey and Darling Child, that's what it's called. It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's the customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got a perfect score yesterday? Would you like to play again? Today is Basketball Day, isn't it, darling? One day is 10 rupees. All right. All right, so, um, I wouldn't say these are necessarily hard mini games. and watch, watch when I say that, uh, watch when I say that, I'm gonna fail this, um, it just aiming is kind of awkward with an N64 controller. That's the only hard part. 
Even if you're playing on a re-release, aiming is still awkward because, like, you're used to N64 controller mechanics. That's kind of why I, uh, I decided to avoid playing this on a re-release is because uh, the aiming controls are off or if you can play Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask on a re-release. And wow, that, that's all it took. Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share a happy answer with him, honey, and we got another purple root base. So, uh, now we're gonna go on to the final day and do this once again. There isn't really much we can do on this set of three days. There really isn't. I'll see you when it's the dawn of the final day. One of the final day, 24 hours remain. Now we just have to do this bomb chew thing. Do we have to do the uh, bomb shop one more time? We have to go in. We have to go to the honey and darling shop one more time. So, uh, it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, you're the one who got a perfect score two days in a row. Do you want to play again? Today is Target totally Two Day, isn't it, darling? One game is 10 rupees. And if you do it the third day, you get a piece of art. You can do this earlier, but I always like I always like to do this toward the end of the game. You just need the uh, what I'm, what I'm saying is you just need the uh, what am I, you just need the arrows, you need the bombs, and you can do this really any point. It's just I like to tackle other things earlier in the game. Yeah, aiming with the arrows is definitely awful if you're playing a re-release because like it's using and because it really. I don't ideally like to play N64 era games on a re-release, even if it's like Mario 64. Because like the N64 controller, yes, flawed, but it's like, it has kind of a quirky design that you have to get used to. And we get a piece of heart, so uh... Now I will see you guys on the uh at 10 p.m. at 10 p.m. on the night of the final day. So see you guys in a second. Alright, it shall be approaching 10 p.m. on the night of the final day. And I'll speed up sped up time. Yeah. There's the curiosity shop. So this is how we're gonna get the all-night mask. So uh come in and uh yeah, look around. I'm doing a special sale. Check it out. Tonight's bargain is the all-night mask for you at bedtime. I forgot when this was made, but it's surely a freaking mask. See what we put it on. So yeah, this has a certain uh, catch to it, which we're gonna use later. And uh, this is one of the last remaining masks we can get in this game. This was added to our notebook. Oh, I don't have nothing else to sell, kid you not. Can I buy something? No. Anyway, so now we're gonna reset time. So uh, next time on the Legends of Majora's Mask, we're gonna do the mother of all side quests, so get ready for that. So I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.